Hey guys, Eric Coffee here at scorecontracts.com and in today's video we're talking about service disabled veteran owned small business registration. We're looking at your CVE and I'm going to take you to the website and I'm going to show you how to create your username and password and then also explore what it takes and what are some of the requirements for getting service disabled veteran owned certified with the US government. All right, stay tuned and watch this video now. What we're going to try to do today is essentially um, we're going to go ahead and try to get somebody registered and verified as a service disabled veteran owned business. They've already uh, got their guns. They're already in SAM. I went to my website. I clicked on learn and uh, let's go to certifications. Scroll down, start your journey here. All right, how to get verified. Let's see. Start verification. Wow, it's yellow. Attention verification applicants. Inventory is higher than normal. Current app processing time is 90 days from date of account creation, first application or the application submission, reapplication. The application timer temporarily stops anytime you're waiting for a response from the applicant. Therefore, you're encouraged to respond in a timely manner. One, participate in a pre application webinar. Two, upload as many, if not all required documents as possible. And then contact your local verification assistance counselor if needed. This is all fine and dandy. I'm going to tell you guys something. It's funny because any time that I've ever done any of these types of applications before, what I did was, uh, if you have a potential contract in the line, they can do what's called an expedited application. And that applies typically across the board for any uh, certification, whether it's state, local, or federal. So if you have any type of uh, potential opportunity, after I submit all my paperwork and all my verification stuff, I would then reach out to them and let them know we've got a potential contract pending and ask them if they can do an expedited processing of your application okay that's just a little trick that i've learned in the past and it it usually works about 50 percent of the time doesn't work all the time but about 50 percent. that's pretty good and again if you don't try you won't know so let's go evc global it's the name of the company oh i don't have the duns oh this is for finding a business all right so we need to do the application what documents do i need to apply that's probably the first thing i check right let's see you need a license. You need a resume. So pre-application, you just need your resume. Any joint venture agreements, most of you guys won't have that. Okay, so we just need a resume. Well, folks, I do not have a resume for the person who I'm trying to get registered. So it looks like I won't be able to do it. But let's just go through the process. Let's click on if the limited liability company. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. I was looking at sole proprietorship. See right there where it says business type? You have to click on the format. So, okay, under limited liability company, same thing. We still need a resume. And it looks like, uh, oh, we need an operating agreement. Secretary of State, that's easy. Okay, so we just need a resume and operating agreement. All right, so let's presume we have that information and move forward just for purposes of the class today. So let's register. You must be a veteran, surviving spouse. You must also be the owner of the business. Process overview, welcome call, required documents, blah, 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 blah. All right, create user account. Standard stuff. Salutation, Mr. Type in my brother's name. It's for him. I got to get his tons number and his job title. Yes. Liability. You guys won't have this problem because obviously you have your information. I'm doing this for someone else, so it's a little different for me. So what I'm doing is just typing in the secret. I'm interested in attending a verification webinar. Nope. Don't need a webinar. Working with a counselor. Nope. Don't need a counselor. All right, let's create our user account. Okay, so complete verification email has been sent. Fantastic. And then we need to just confirm it. All right, so now we've uh, registered. That was easy enough. Anyone could do that. Just need your dungeon number, email address, set you up a couple uh, security codes, security words, and your password. Now let's go in and verify it. So here you go. Here's the email that comes from VetBiz. Let's click on it. That link. Okay, email has been verified. Now it's going to send us another email and some instructions. So we will come back to you when we get that one. All right, perfect. So we'll work on that. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're walking um, through this vet biz process. We got the email back. Let's go to inbox check here. 
Okay, it says thank you for contacting veteran. Essential all this stuff. Register for a pre application webinar. Connect with a counselor. Some FAQs, fact sheets. And you got this one. It says click on this URL to continue application process. We click here. Let's go ahead and sign in. Now, let's see. It says registration is pending. This looks like the process pending, verified, denied, withdrawn. Register, let's see. So as you see here, we've already got our DUNS number, name, company, we're already registered. We need to upload our required documents. There's only two required documents, resume and operating agreement. So we have those ready to go. I'm looking for a button to actually click to upload my documents. I don't see one. Go back, that's very weird. Let's go back here, let's log in, sign in. Okay, shows us already here. Okay, let's click next. All right, perfect, here we go. That's where it's at. This little yellow thing down here, they need to make like a flashing star around it or something. All right, check your qualifications veteran, veteran owned, service disabled, service disabled, veteran owned. So we're program for service to save a veteran business. Okay. So all that apply. So obviously he's a service to save a veteran. He's a veteran. He's a service to save a veteran and a service to save a business. And he's a small business concern. That's very weird. All right. In order to begin, you must need name, your email address, and ownership of the company. Easy enough. We got that. And this is weird. Total ownership must be between 99. I'm not understanding about this question. Okay, let's try 99. So this is where people run into problems. I love this. Paperwork Reduction Act. Yeah, right. They got more paperwork than anybody I know. We just went through this. Tell me they have the same information carried over. Find it hard to believe. You know, I can see why people get frustrated. We're asking the same information over and over and over and over again. Who has a fax anymore? Watch it flag me for not having a fax number. Oh, it didn't. EIN. That's a terrible system with this glitch. The government probably paid a billion dollars for this stupid thing.
her. This is, I mean, this is awful. Ah, okay. I missed that, guys. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to go back to the division of corporations. Pull that file. Press a new certificate status. I don't know why they just don't pull this up PDF. I'm hoping that's what they do. Five bucks. Great. What about the good old credit card? Bingo. And we did it. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you like what you saw, click the subscribe button to my left to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, we've got a bunch of goodies for you below at scorecontracts.com forward slash resources. Stay tuned for this next upcoming video.